when are steroids the answer on USMLE? There are exactly six super high yield cases NBME loves to test. I'm going to give you all six cases so you nail these every time on your USMLE exams. First use case I wanted to memorize is asthma exacerbation. So they give you a 25 year old patient with wheezing who's using albuterol every two hours and their peak flow is 40% of predicted. What do you add? Prednisone. High dose, short course, usually 40 to 60 milligrams daily for five days. Some students pick just increase albuterol on the USMLE. No, if they're having an exacerbation requiring frequent rescue inhaler you add systemic steroids second use case is copd exacerbation so you've got a 70 year old smoker with increased dyspnea and purulent sputum what's the treatment it's antibiotics bronchodilators and prednisone the steroid reduces airway inflammation and bme loves this combo don't forget the steroid just because you picked the antibiotic third use case is autoimmune flares and bme will give you lupus with nephritis polymyalgia rheumatica with temporal arthritis or dermatomyositis what's the treatment there high dose prednisone for temporal arthritis specifically you start steroids immediately don't wait for biopsy to prevent blindness fourth use case is adrenal insufficiency so on in the USMLE you'll have a person with addison disease or someone who's been on chronic steroids and you're tapering them off you need stress to steroids for surgery or illness why because their adrenal glands are suppressed and they can't mount a cortisol response fifth use case is allergic reactions so this is a severe allergic reaction or angioedema that's not responding to antihistamines alone after you give epinephrine for anaphylaxis you also give steroids to prevent biphasic reaction that's when symptoms come back 4 to 12 hours later after you give epinephrine. Sixth use case is inflammatory conditions with specific NDME patterns. So Bell's palsy, you will give steroids within 72 hours. Croup, you give dexamethasone, which is the same drug class. Acute gout if NSAIDs are contraindicated. And ITP for severe thrombocytopenia and sarcoidosis with symptomatic disease.